Hey guys, it's your girl Rojus here today and today we're gonna do this sultry brown look that I did with the brand new soft glam from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I also decided to get the Fenty Beauty foundation and I'm gonna sort of review it kind of in a way give my opinion on it but also just do a look out of you know thin air and I hope you enjoy it, guys don't forget to subscribe hit that notification button because it helps a lot and notifies you whenever I post videos and yeah let's get this video started so like usually let's start with the eyes and I'm gonna use my cover girl um eyelid lid lock it up eye primer so I'll be right back you don't really just need to see me put it on because it's so bleh. That's what it is. Blech. Like I said, we're going to use the Soft Glam Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It does come with a little, you know, plastic bag. Plastic bag. Little plastic thing on top to protect the eyeshadows from touching the mirror, you know. And it has a little plastic thing on the mirror, like usually. And it comes with the brush. All these palettes from Anastasia Beverly Hills always come with the brush. And I really like the brush that it comes with, so I mostly use the brush. So it can be a little bit of, you know, a little bit of more pigmented using the own brush that the palette came with. That's what I feel is best. And I can't get this stuff out. Like, come out! So yeah, I think this one is a little bit thicker. But I don't know what to actually do with the eyes. I want it to be neutral. So I'm probably going to use, like, neutral colors for today. Just neutral. So, I do see that there is, you know, there is similar eyeshadows that I know from the Modern Renaissance that I have, um, especially um, Ser Serena, Burnt Orange, Tempa, I don't, I'm butcher names, don't, don't worry, I don't, I butcher all the names. But, let's get into the look. Um, I'm probably going to use... A little bit of mm, burnt orange. Let's use burnt orange. Okay, first dab. Um, I kind of went a little bit too, you know, aggressive. You could just dab and it'll be perfectly fine. But so let's do this on one eye, and I'm gonna just show you one eye. Okay. I like this color. This color, I think, burnt orange is a little bit more orangey now. Or a little bit more orangey brown. Because I remember this color to be a little bit more like intense burnt orange. So let's go ahead and dab. So the new thing that. Why can I not talk? I've been stuttering for the whole day today. But back to this. Like for the for the new technique that I've been doing is I just been patting a lot of the foundation oh, foundation a lot of the eyeshadows where I want it to be and then I blend it out. It's easier process, it's more intense, more pigmented, and less less time for you to be just concentrating on one eyeshadow trying to get it to be bright and pigmented. Just pack it on, don't dust it pack it on don't worry you're gonna clean it up with concealer and blending period so I just switched my brush my Morphe M441 and we're gonna use Rustica Rustica I remember that that thing that we used to do when I used to work at Prova Rustica so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right here to like increase it a little bit of a dark color right here and just pat it 
don't force it like I am because if you do force it really hard, it does come a lot of dust. Like, look. Oh, you can't even see it, but okay. But that's because I'm just very aggressive, which I shouldn't be with aggressive with the eyeshadows because these are beautiful no matter what. So I'm just going to do that and put it right there. Made it a little bit more intense. Oh, I love this. Like this wasn't planned, but I'm loving this right here. I am. So from the palette, we're going to use Sultry with the brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Just like the little thin brush. Okay, so this does get a lot on the on the brush what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put this color right here and pat it on this color is so beautiful like i always said don't worry about being messy um that's why you haven't done your foundation and it's better not to do not to do your foundation so you won't have no problems with the foundation so okay i'm kind of liking okay Ooh. so what i'm gonna do is with that same one i'm gonna like do this right here i don't know what's wrong with this brush but this little brush right here bus but this brush right here is like so thick like it's bunched up like you see all the dust and i only dabbed it a little bit so i don't know hmm i'd rather just use this brush part right here but other than that blending i don't think so so i got the salt sultry out of the front part because i didn't feel like it was like my color not my color but like i didn't feel like it's a what's supposed to be up there so i put it in the middle and i used my e23 brush to blend it in with the rest and make it a little bit more you know more neutral natural well i'm probably doing like a smoky eye because you know this came about so this is one of the fancy beauty and this is a number 240 I was gonna get 270 but it had peach peachy tones and I'm not it with the peachy tones um it looks so white on camera but I seen on my hand I left it for a little bit and I seen that it oxidizes a little bit darker than it's supposed to be so I think this will be fine. You know, I look like a freaking ghost, but this will be fine. Well, to be honest, I am a little freaking ghost. Okay, Fenty. All right, and then let me put it in the center. Fenty Beauty zooming in. Mm -hmm. It's gonna oxidize to the color that it's supposed to be, just like it oxidized it here. You see, you see how it's a little bit darker on my hand than on my face that's why so whatever i have on the brush my m41 441 m41 um i'm just gonna place it under the eye the waterline right here just dab it a little bit don't want that much uh -huh. uh Just put it together on the lid right here. And I almost dropped my Jeffree Star mirror. I'm sorry, Jeffree. I'm really sorry. I'm just a freaking clumsy as shit. So I'm just gonna do that. Put it together and under, under my eyes. Ooh. I'm really liking this right here. Ooh. So I'm gonna intense the waterline a little bit more. Like it looks like it has a little bit of a 
eyeliner. So I'm going to use the Morphe 15D palette. I'm going to use Mauve, Epic, and Sweet. Just dab on both sides. And release the axis. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right in a waterline. And just swatch it like that to look like it's an eyeliner and then after that I with the same brush this one I just go over it and blend it together making it look like this yes so I already did my bronzer it was my regular bronzer the butter bronzer the Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer rosewood and now you're you already know my highlighter is gonna be the Becca and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amerasia highlighter Highlight. Oh wait. Why am I ever getting a lot of stuff today? I'm just gonna spray my face, so you know. So I'm gonna be screaming a lot, and also be prepared for highlighter. And I'm gonna with the brush, and just put this on the highlighter highlight points. And way. Ooh, I always remember. Like, I always like forget how nice this oh okay I always forget I always freaking forget how amazing this highlighter is and if you get too much highlighter on your points you know you could just dab it on your face with the beauty blender so then with my fingers I like to go like that and my bridge and then Whatever I have on it, I'm just gonna enhance. Then with my cupid's bow. Yeah, no, I love me some highlighter. And then just do this. Then I'm gonna put my Becca Cosmetics on top of it and I'll be right back. But yeah guys, end of the video. If you wanted to know, I use the Hoodie Beauty and Venus lip gloss and the MAC Cosmetic and Burn Spice. Also use my Bang Girl. Bang Girl um, mascara and my Morphe setting mist spray. So that's all I did, and I just wild out my hair because my hair was just literally in a ponytail. So literally just whipped it out. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to go. To go don't forget to go to the description below. Get my Twitter, my Instagram, my Tumblr. My Instagram will be posted in the screen, like always. And don't forget to hit that notification button to be notified whenever I post videos, which in the description below will be the timing that I'll be posting in Western time, Eastern time, Central time, Northern time. So you will be notif- notif- why can I speak? So you will be notified whenever I post video for you guys and you will be ready for it. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.